Okay, welcome back to another video. So this is the second video of the day and today I'm going to be showcasing a client I'm very excited to do because it's been a long time since I've showcased an internal client. But anyways, let's get into it. So this is Nefarious V4 and I really dig the menu. Like it's been a long time since I've been pretty excited about a menu, but I really do like this one. So they've done a menu overhaul. It looks completely different. Kind of gives me some CSGO cheat vibes. And whenever you hover over the text, it shows tooltips. And if you want to enable it, just check the box right here. If you click the text, you can modify the settings. So this is a Forge client. So obviously, this is geared towards like universal operating systems, whether you use a Linux, Mac, um, Windows. I know that a good portion of people use Mac. So, you know, got to give the MacBook people some love. So this is a pretty decent client. So I'm just going to make some random settings and play around with it. So got aim assist and got auto clicker and you can adjust to your liking got break blocks too as you can see um, I might have to like find something easy to break see I can break blocks so I can't break blocks now so that's very nice anyways uh, let's go into it more so we got misplace so you can change it right here you got reach now this client isn't only a ghost client there's blatant features too um this client was actually very popular like a year or a year and a half ago like i know that there were like known rank skyward players that use this cheat like onik used to be one of the people that use this cheat in the past and uh let's make some reach settings now this is ghostly so the anti-cheat isn't that robust so we can kind of go crazy with it you know without any repercussions okay throw pot hell yeah i love this feature Let's see if it's dynamic or not. Um, if you guys know what that means, it's basically like um, dynamic throw pot. Like it throws two depending on your health. And also, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the slider is hella smooth. Like look at this slider. It's like buttery smooth, 60 frames per second. But um, sprint, I have that self-destruct. There's a universal bind, I'm pretty sure. Like control home or something like that. It's in a discord. And then GY settings, you guys can change the colors. I'm going to keep it orange because... It's a nice color. Got chest dealer. Got vertical, horizontal, random. Basically, a lot of modes. And then Aurelis. I'm going to turn that on as well. Okay, that's kind of a problem. I don't know if I can tell, but the Aurelis is kind of laggy. It's like 30 FPS. That's a problem that maybe they should fix. I don't really like that, but you got line mode, left, right, or auto. I keep it on auto. auto. You got B hop. And then it says Bunny Hub doesn't bypass No G Plus, which is high pixels and side cheat, because Watchdog is basically a modified version of No G Plus. Kill Aura. No, I don't really use all of these because I don't like blatant cheat. I think it's save profile, so I can just save it like video v4 and enter. There we go, we saved it. And then just click on it to get the config. There we go. Somebody used the video config. We're gonna play a little bit and see how it goes. Okay, so first of all, happy new year guys. Um, hope you guys are having a good, good time for the break. Anyways, this video is actually recorded in 240, so maybe it looked better than the previous one. I decided to double upload for the new year, so, you know, drop a like or something to show some love. But anyways, um, this client is obviously pretty decent, like, for a Forge client. Forge client is obviously not, like, the trend now. Nowadays, it's more about, like, the C++, uh, JNI injectable clients like those and external clients and all that memory mods But you know what personally? I feel like this is still a very good market for a client like these because you know, there's a lot of people that Uses Mac OS, you know like students and all that and Linux too. I'm not even sure if you run this on Linux actually But it's a very simple forge mod that you drag and drop and if you self-destruct it'll return back to the original mods it's a particle mod actually so it's pretty interesting but the aim assist feels pretty good as it should be i mean if you're using internal aim assist you expect it to be good because the expectation of module qualities are pretty high nowadays now that people kind of understand um to value the quality of a feature not just oh because they have this you know it's good okay so i decided to play gapple because i feel like no debuff is like ending pretty quickly I'm also on a VPN, so that kind of sucks because the ping isn't that great, but, you know, gotta stay on ban, you know, especially with the account migration thing. I feel like people should value their account much more like this guy I'm using right now. 
Um, it has an Optifine cape, but I transferred to my friend, so this I I bought it for like three or four bucks back in the day. So this gun's probably valued at like nine or ten. I don't know, but you should not like try to just throw accounts away, especially if you have like email access to them. Like this one, I have email access to it, so I really don't want to lose it. I'm gonna try to use it for as long as possible. Maybe I should have used the mod that Regolay gave me, which is a uh, high name tags, and I just died. Dude, I totally forgot to gap up. I forgot that we're playing gavel and we're not playing no debuff, so that was my bad. Let's continue. Let's see if I can get like a huge combo on him. Also, this client is semi-private, meaning that there is limited slots. Now, in the past month, they only released one slot, but because of this video, the owner's going to be releasing a few more slots. So if you want to buy it through me, which you get a $5 discount, but the client is $50 and by no means is it cheap. It's actually very expensive but at the same time i'm like okay i mean it's private there's actually not a lot of people that have the client so if you're someone that's into that feel free to you know check it out it is very expensive though like if you use my discount if you contact through me it's probably like 45. okay i'm gonna stop playing gapple because i always forget to gap up so we're gonna just gonna stick to no debuff because more intense action you gotta pot you gotta do everything i actually forgot to use the throw pot feature so I might have to do that real quick. Oh wait, I forgot to bind it. Oh shoot, that's why. Oh shoot, I forgot to bind it. Yo, wait, hold up. L let me just get, let me just get a combo on this dude real quick. What? Okay, it's okay, it's okay. We're gonna change it in the, in the hub. But anyways, I forgot. But um, throw pot. You gotta bind it. Okay, it's already binded actually. You know what? We're gonna turn on visual hacks because the visuals look pretty nice, especially something like player ESP. Now, I personally prefer outlines. I don't know why it's not working right now, but, uh, oh wait, it's not turned on. There we go. Yeah, that looks nice. Like, the visual is simple and clean. Like, that's what I like. Like, a lot of the visuals, they have, like, these thick lines. It doesn't sync well when the people are moving and the models are everywhere. I remember Drip Light, like, when I first added, like, uh, visuals, the ESP were just flying everywhere on Lunar, so. Maybe that's an anti-cheat thing, I'm not sure, but look it's real it looks really clean basically nothing too absurd same with crypts visual i do like crypts visual especially the 2d esp that looks nice but yeah maybe they should add like a thing where you can adjust the thickness of the lines i feel like that might be pretty cool when it comes to self-destruct and undetectability obviously it will match up against like a windows client that's like entropy or vape and all that but i think it'll be sufficient enough as long as you're like you're not using windows i feel like if you're using windows 10 this probably isn't the client for you now that probably won't be the case if you're using mac because screen sharing on a mac is completely different and if you're in windows if you play like primarily practice pvp servers and you tend to get screen shared this is probably not good for you either so you should probably just stick with something else that's better like entropy which is like 20 bucks cheaper or 15 but we'll see I'm gonna try to get a huge combo. I decided to play combo again because I really want to win a round of combo. So, for the video, you know. I think this cheat also have auto armor. Hold up, let me check. This guy's kind of going ham on me right now, so. You know what? Let's go back a little bit. I don't think this auto armor. Yeah. That's fine, that's fine. Anyways, let's get back into it. Come on kind of lagging though um for the people wondering what vpn i use i use private internet access because it's great like it disconnect and connects really fast that's what i like about it yeah this guy's also cheating i'm pretty sure probably using like a oh his helmet broke first interesting interesting i didn't hear the breaking sound though maybe my game sound is way too low oh put on my helmet there we go. I should probably get status effect. All right, he's gone. Okay, guys, thank you for watching the video. I appreciate it. Happy New Year. Have a good holiday and enjoy your time with the family. But that's it for the video. If you guys want to check out this client, I'll make sure to put the instruction in the description. Also, I recently added join members for my YouTube channel. So if you join, there'll be perks listed. So the first perk is the first rank is obviously Spooker, which is just like um, live chat access and you get, you get special with my Discord with my config, so you get all my configurations for the cheats that I currently use. And Spooksters, which is the highest tier right now, 
I don't think I'll add any more tiers because I feel like that's just kind of useless and I can't think of any perks to add. But if you have Spookster, you can basically get access on tutorials how to make my thumbnail. Because I know that some people are like interested in like starting a cheating YouTube channel like me. So if you have like, some people say that my thumbnail looks good, which is credit to Koka for making them. You can learn how to make the same style of thumbnail. There will be a tutorial about it and uh, yeah, it will be in Photoshop. So. That's it for the video, and that's it for what I have to say. I'll see you guys after New Year in 2021. Have a good one. Bye.